Today is Monday, July 30th, 2018, and we have here at Covenant Keepers Ministries been walking through in our video devotionals the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. We've worked our way through the scriptures to the location of Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 through 24. And we're going to be talking this week about forever investments. Forever investments. So let's read this scripture, verses 19 through 24 of Matthew 6. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? We're going to divide these verses up and walk through them this week. And I pray you're attentive to the Holy Spirit. So he'll show you how are your investments in life. What kind of investments are you making? Are you really making your deposits in the right place? So, you know, when we start talking about treasures, everybody values something different. I think in America, everybody values money to some degree. And if you have something you consider valuable, you're always looking for a place to, to keep it safe. You're looking for a place to hide it, maybe, or to store it. And, you know... Kids do this all the time in, in homes. They, they put signs, handwritten signs on the doors and they go buy one at some store and, and it says, keep out. And, and they have this desire that there's something valuable in there. Even if the, the value of that room that they say keep out of is simply it's a place of safety and solace for them, a place where they can stay away from others. But I, I remember when I was a kid, there there's this this issue that I always had, my mom just really did not enjoy some of my issues. And one of my issues was I like to collect rocks. And so in my, my bedroom, I would, I would have a lot of rocks. And I, seriously, those, those rocks had absolutely no monetary value. But I had found those rocks, and they were valuable to me. I don't know if they were just valuable because I thought they were pretty or they were special because I'd found them somewhere. And, and so I did not want anybody touching my rocks. And my mom had this habit of throwing my rocks away. And they could have been as simple as some little quartz rock or something else. When I got into high school, I got this, I don't know, this thing about collecting pins. And I had these ballpoint pins. And, and I had this, they had these little vinyl things you could stick about 10 or 12 in your shirt pocket inside this white vinyl thing. I'd stick that white vinyl thing in there. I have 10 or 12 pins hanging in there. I don't know. I thought it was cool. They were valuable to me. So you get my drift. Something's valuable to you, may not be valuable to someone else. Someone might consider something to treasure, you consider junk. And the truth is, is we've heard those kind of statements before. You know, so kids are, they're looking for something that's of value and they treasure and they hold it close to themselves and they do not want to be separated from it. Adults, we're, we're the same way. Young adults, teenagers, they're, they're looking for the right car. They're looking for the right guy or gal. They, they, they want to give their heart to that right person. And they want the treasure placed in so-and-so, usually an object or a person. And you better keep your hands off of them. And adults who are looking for the right job, the right house, the, the right bank, the right investments, the right, the right retirement where we can cuddle up and be safe, a place to hide our goodies. So I want you to think about this this week. We're talking about forever investments, and, and what are you doing with, with your life? And, and a, lot, a lot of that has to do with the, what age you are, if you have children, what age they are, and how you're progressing through, how many jobs have you had, and, and where you live, and so forth. And, and so we could simplify and probably oversimplify all this by saying that uh, childhood through adulthood, is one continuous struggle to find a place to put our treasures. And Jesus here in Matthew 6, 19-24 is, is speaking and questions are answered by what he says. 
he tells us clearly where to put our treasures, what to value in life, what to put the most value on. So as we walk through this this week, I want you to be thinking about, in terms of my life, my time, and my money, what do I treasure the most? And then measure that against God's word, what we're going to be walking through here in these these few verses, and, and what the Spirit of God says elsewhere in the Word, and what the Holy Spirit has convicted you of personally. This is where your treasure ought to be. Let's pray about it. Lord, direct our path. Help us to put treasures in the right places for the glory of God. Amen. You're blessed. Have a great day.